Hi, I'm Elaine Harding. Welcome to my blog at stampwithelaine.com. Today is the start of my six week countdown to Halloween series. This is the pick of the patch photopolymer stamp, which has a coordinating patch called the pick of the patch builder patch. If you purchase them together, there is a saving of 10%. You'll find the bundle on page 51 of the new September to December 2023 mini. I wanted to make the supplies stretch further. There are four sheets of 12 double-sided designs in the All About Autumn 6x6 Specialty Designer Series Pack. And I've used the pumpkin one, so I've cut it in half so it's 3 inches by 6 inches and trimmed down to fit the card. I also cut a piece of vellum so that you could wrap the vellum round the card. I've actually trimmed this down to 2 and 3 quarter inches, which is 7 centimetres. And I'm going to trim that once I put it on my card base. So the card base is in Mossy Meadow and this measures 4 and 1 8 by 11 and 3 quarters so that's 10.5 centimetres by 29 centimetres. I want to keep as much green in as possible because the card base is Mossy Meadow and I'm just going to scoot that a tad in, say about a sixteenth of an inch to allow for wrapping the vellum round the designer series paper. So the other cardstock I need is a very vanilla piece for the inside of the card and this measures three and three quarter inches by five and a half inches. In metric that will be 9.5 by 14 centimetres. You also need a piece of very vanilla scrap to stamp the pumpkins on. For the tendrils, I stamped that separately and fussy cut them. The other materials I'm using are also the All About Autumn Sweets adhesive backed speckled dots. The inks I'm using are pumpkin pie, mossy meadow and a stamp and write black marker pen and tuxedo black memento ink. I also need Versamark, the basics embossing powder um, and the tools embossing additions kit. If you follow my YouTube channel you would have seen yesterday how I created this template in order to mount the uh, stamps so you can punch the small and large pumpkin, the stalk and the leaf at the same time. So just to recap, <coughs> by creating the template you can drop the stamps inside the punched apertures and because of the raised uh, foam adhesive strips on the back this will allow your stamp to sit in the apertures without touching the work surface um, so that you can mount the stamps accurately. So let's do our stamping first. I'm going to stamp the pumpkins in pumpkin pie. Use a chamois to clean the stalk and the leaf. Then ink up the stalk and the leaf half on it to re-moisten the stamp <sighs> align the bottom of the stamp with the bottom of the cardstock and stamp allow the ink to absorb Then bring in the punch, offer it all the way into the punch and punch. Bring back the mossy meadow 
ink and I'm just going to stamp the tendrils here. And then I can fussy cut it. I'm going to ink up the jack-o'-lantern face in tuxedo black memento ink and stamp it on the smaller pumpkin. And then I'm going to draw a face on this one because there isn't a second face in the stamp set. So I'll just do it freehand. Draw a little triangle for his nose and a big grin and then sad eyes. I've gone ahead and cut the tendrils off camera because it was too time consuming to do it on the video and while I've still got the jack-o'-lantern stamp out I'm just going to stamp a couple of faces here then I'll use the dotty stamp and ink it up in mossy meadow then apply adhesive to the underside of the card and glue it inside the card leaving an even border all round. Before I put my designer paper on, I want to emboss the greeting at the bottom. So, embossing buddy. Ink up the Happy Halloween. Stamp it along the bottom. Sprinkle embossing powder over it and tap the excess off and heat set it. I found the easiest way to introduce the score lines was to put this buttered up against your scoring board, the vellum paper on top and then you just score on either side where the paper ends and make sure it's in a groove where you can score. You don't want to press too hard. And then crease the vellum. And because you can see any marks or tape in the vellum if you put tear and tape or what whatever it's best to wrap it like that and then you won't see it. You stick a bit of tear and tape right on the reverse side of the designer series paper that you want to show. Take that off. Pop this in. Now unfortunately this won't stay down so that's why I put a tiny dollop of glue to pin that down. Now the next step is to put tear and tape you don't want to go right to the edges because just in case you need to allow for tolerance for the card if you go right up to the edge it might be hanging in air if you know what I mean. Uh, which side do I want it? This side. So it's important that this side is flush with that, okay? And if I've done it correctly, it should go all the way across without an overhang. So I'm happy with that. 
and I can remove the rest of the tape. I put glue dots on the back of this because it's being stuck on vellum and you don't really want to put glue on vellum. I'm going to stick this one down first. And then I can tuck this one behind. I just realised I hadn't turned the recording button on. I've been muttering to myself. I was just saying I need to use tweezers with this one because my fingers are too fat. So I put glue dots on the front of the tendrils. Oh, I've done it the other way round, sorry. It's not what my original card looked like. Can I rescue it? I need a new pack of mini glue dots almost coming to the end. I hope I've got just enough to see me through this project. Sadly I ran out of glue dots. So, there we go. Last thing to do is the adhesive back sequins. So I use this colour because it showed up better. Now where did I put them? So that's my original and that's the inside. I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. Do pop back for more inspiration next time and I'd be ever so grateful if you did like and share. Thanks for watching. Bye.